My name is Jens Janusche. I'm uh, German and I'm uh, running a little research team here in the University of Dundee. We work with fruit flies, so it's known as Drosophila melanogaster, and it's a widely used model organism because it's very powerful for genetics and various other purposes. I'm interested in understanding how, how cells become different from each other. So you think of it, um, we all start from a single cell, which is an egg, and then you, this development magically takes you through a process which generates uh, the adult. So how do you generate from one single cell an organism that has much more a variety in cell types? And there's many ways nature has actually invented to do this. And there's a particular one that we like, that is the division a stem cell can actually have, and that is it produces a copy of its own and it produces a cell which is different to it. And we're trying to understand how it's actually doing that. So what is, it needs to organize itself. So you think about a bit like an infrastructure inside the cell which gets built and has different functions and we try to understand how that is related to, let's say, fate or cellular fate or cellular identity. And that happens in, in our case in the developing nervous system in the fly because that we can nicely visualize the cells and watch the dynamic uh, of the process and role over time. Why did I start working with the fly is um, we had a very excellent um, developmental biology course in the University of Cologne and there we worked with the flies and we the, um, my first encounter there was to look into eggs and then um, actually in the fruit fly the body axis of the later adult so we all have a back and a body and uh, left and right and so on these axes of the, um, of the adult are already determined in the egg and I found that totally fascinating. Yes, I mean, who cares about your fruit fly when you see it on sitting on the banana, but then when you, when you have the, the tools and the knowledge, you can look in it and learn so much about development. That was what actually got me really excited about this model organism. I started to be, yeah, looking what is actually, how do you, the cell organizes its interior and the molecules within it. When you do these kind of experiments, you never know what you observe is induced by your culturing technology. So if it's artificial or if it's real. The larvae pupate and then metamorphosis takes place and the fly hatches. So these are different stages during development. But um, if everything goes wrong, you can image them for a couple of days that we've been able to. And then you can see that they probably become smaller, change behavior and eventually will even uh, differentiate. So that would be good indication that your cell has been healthy throughout the process. You can use different culturing techniques then, but you can make them immortalized. That would require sort of in vivo culturing. That means you take the brain tissue, sounds a bit horrible, but you stick it into the, the belly of another fly and then it has the perfect culturing conditions. And that will grow and then eventually kill that fly if it's a, let's say, a transformed uh, malignant cell line. And you can even freeze those, so they, they become immortalized, but we don't work with those. We just work with the ones which, which reflect the, the wild type situation, as we would say. If I had a nice um, course on and I got the hand of the book, which was about um, the definition of what is life, and I tried to come down, it's not very, very easy if you think about it. What, 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 how do you dist distinguish living from non-living material? And in the course of that, I think um, one important transition, I think, in the evolution is, is, is the so-called RNA world, where people realize that there's molecules which can have enzymatic as well as information carrying function and so on. So I don't know, I mean the smallest point of life is as soon as you have a reaction in a way, right? I mean, yeah, is that life? Then you come back to this definition, isn't the chemical reaction is not life? So yeah, I don't know. The smallest unit in the fly, yeah, I don't know, it might be cells, but then below that, difficult to answer.